food lovers? Today, we're embarking on a culinary adventure inspired by the wonderful Julie and Julia. Imagine the aroma of chocolate filling your kitchen. Picture a slice of rich, decadent cake begging to be devoured. Are you ready? Let's begin. This chocolate almond cake is a true delight. It's perfect for a special occasion or a simple indulgence. Don't be intimidated by the steps. I'll guide you through each one. Remember, baking is about enjoying the process, so put on your apron and let's create something wonderful together. Before we start, let's gather our ingredients. This is a crucial step that sets the foundation for our baking adventure. Having everything prepped and ready makes the baking process smoother and more enjoyable. It ensures that we won't be scrambling for ingredients mid-recipe. Plus, it's always satisfying to see all those delicious components lined up. It gives us a sense of accomplishment and readiness. For the cake, one and a half cups all-purpose flour, which provides the structure for our cake, three quarters cup unsweetened cocoa powder, adding that rich chocolate flavor we all love, one and a half teaspoons baking powder to help our cake rise beautifully, half a teaspoon baking soda, a quarter teaspoon salt, both enhancing the texture and flavor, one and a half cups granulated sugar for sweetness and moisture, three quarters cup unsalted butter, softened to add richness, two large eggs for binding, one teaspoon almond extract for a hint of nutty flavor, and one cup buttermilk to keep our cake moist and tender. For the ganache, one cup heavy cream, which will make our ganache smooth and creamy, eight ounces bittersweet chocolate, chopped, for that deep, luscious chocolate finish. For garnish, optional, sliced almonds for a crunchy texture, and fresh raspberries for a burst of freshness and color. These optional garnishes will elevate the presentation and taste of our cake. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. This step is crucial to ensure that your cake bakes evenly and achieves the perfect texture. Grease and flour a 9-inch round cake pan. Make sure to cover all the surfaces, including the sides, to prevent sticking. This ensures our cake won't stick and will rise beautifully. A well-prepared pan is key to a successful bake. In a medium bowl, whisk together the flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. These dry ingredients form the foundation of our cake. This dry mix ensures all the ingredients are evenly distributed, creating a consistent crumb. Proper mixing at this stage is essential for a uniform texture. In a separate large bowl, cream together the sugar and soften butter until light and fluffy. This process incorporates air into the batter. The mixture should be pale and airy, which helps create a tender crumb. The lightness of the butter and sugar mixture is crucial for the cake's final texture. Beat in the eggs one at a time, ensuring each egg is fully incorporated before adding the next. Then stir in the almond extract. This adds a subtle, nutty flavor that complements the chocolate perfectly. Remember to scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl to incorporate all the ingredients. This step ensures that no part of the batter is left unmixed, leading to a smooth and even cake batter. Now, gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, alternating with the buttermilk, and beginning and ending with the dry ingredients. Mix until just combined. Do not overmix, as it can make the cake tough. Pour the batter into the prepared cake pan and spread evenly. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes, or until a wooden skewer inserted into the center comes out clean. Let the cake cool in the pan for 10 minutes before inverting it onto a wire rack to cool completely. Cooling completely ensures the ganache sets properly and doesn't melt into the cake. Section 5. The Ganache. A symphony of chocolate. This is where the magic happens, transforming a simple cake into a decadent masterpiece. While the cake is cooling, let's prepare the ganache. This step is crucial as it adds a rich, creamy layer that elevates the entire dessert. This luxurious chocolate topping is what dreams are made of. It's smooth, rich, and utterly irresistible. In a small saucepan, heat the heavy cream over medium heat until it just begins to simmer. Be careful not to let it boil, as this can affect the texture of the ganache. Remove the cream from the heat and immediately add the chopped chocolate. The heat from the cream will start to melt the chocolate almost instantly. Let it stand for a minute to allow the chocolate to melt. This resting period is essential for achieving a smooth consistency. Then whisk until smooth and glossy. The mixture should become silky and shiny, a true testament to a perfect ganache. This creates a velvety texture that complements the cake perfectly. The ganache should be thick yet pourable, ideal for coating the cake. Let the ganache cool slightly before pouring it over the cake. This ensures it spreads evenly without running off the sides. 
This allows it to thicken a bit, ensuring it doesn't completely soak into the cake. The result is a beautifully coated cake with a luscious, chocolatey finish. Section 6. Assembling our masterpiece. Once the cake is completely cool, carefully place it on a serving plate. Remember, we want our cake to look as good as it tastes. Now, for the fun part. Pour the cooled ganache over the cake, allowing it to drip down the sides. Don't worry if it's not perfect. A little rustic charm adds character. Spread the ganache evenly over the top of the cake, creating a smooth, even layer. You can use an offset spatula for this, but a butter knife works just as well. Section 7. A touch of elegance, garnishing. Now that our cake is assembled, let's add a touch of elegance with some garnish. This is optional, but a few simple additions can elevate the presentation. For a classic look, sprinkle sliced almonds around the edges of the cake. This adds a lovely crunch and complements the almond flavor in the cake. If you're feeling fancy, top the cake with fresh raspberries. The tartness of the raspberries pairs beautifully with the richness of the chocolate ganache. Section 8. Serving and Savoring Your chocolate almond cake is ready to be enjoyed. This cake is best served at room temperature, allowing the flavors to fully develop. Cut yourself a generous slice and savor each bite. The cake is rich and decadent, with a deep chocolate flavor that's perfectly balanced by the almond extract. The ganache is smooth and creamy, adding a touch of luxury to every mouthful. And the optional garnishes add a delightful crunch and freshness. Section 9. Share your baking triumph. Congratulations on creating a masterpiece. I hope you enjoyed making this chocolate almond cake as much as I did. Remember, baking is a journey, not a destination. Don't be afraid to experiment and make this recipe your own. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your baking experiences in the comments below. Happy baking!